Hey guys and welcome to Orza Scale. So this video is going to be a little bit different. I want to showcase one of our subscribers, a uh, lovely person by the name of Duncan Edwards from disabilityhorizons.com, who was kind enough to share a cool readability improvement prompt. And this is the source material. This is the article that he wrote, and I'll be leaving it in, in the description of this video. Hopefully it will pass some YouTube juice. And he's talking about the readability and and he took a different approach to readability. So he just used a guidance um, on how to write documents for disabled people with cognitive impairments as a guide and came up with a prompt that I'll be testing today. And this prompt is basically consists of uh, 12 different things that every text should adhere to in order to be readable. And this is further condensed into fewer principles, which is easy read principles. And he shares a couple of prompts. So this prompt here and this one here, and I'll be testing both. But first, let me go to perplexity, I'll be using Claude. And let me fire up a one-click SEO prompt that I'm using for perplexity. This prompt has nothing for readability. So usually it returns uh, any, anything from to grade 12 to grade 15. Let's see what happens. So the keyword is, does agility writer pass a detection? And this is the same prompt we've been using on a few of my previous videos. This prompt is amazing. It uses an outline from Neuron Writer and the keywords from Neuron Writer, and also internal links from my sitemap. And this is a truly one-click solution that gives you a close to 1000 article, which is SEO optimized with internal links and pretty good content. Okay, so let's um, first convert it to HTML. Then let's see what the default readability is. Okay, we need to fix a few things. Okay, Hemingway, here we go. Grade 12, so not too bad. Almost 800 words. Let's now use one of the prompts provided by Duncan. So this one here. So convert the above text to easy read format. The target audience is adults with learning disabilities with reading age of 9 to 12. Use simple conversational tone and everyday language, break down complex sentences, replace technical terms, organize the content with clear headings and bulleted points, and suggest places where supportive images can be added. Ensure the text is screen reader friendly and format it to easy review, include clear calls to action or summaries at the end of sections. So let's see what happens. I have never tested this before. Hopefully, this will retain internal links. If not, uh, this prompt will have to be tweaked, obviously, to maintain the internal links of the original. But we're not testing that. We're testing the improvement in readability. And I've already seen how this is easier to read. Okay, so unfortunately, this is a much shorter version, but still. Let's see. I'm just curious, curious to know, because you can apply it to sections. So you can obviously go section by section. And this even suggested a call to action. So image suggestion, call to action button, inviting to try agility writer. So the previous readability was grade 12. And now it's an amazing grade 6. Wow. Oh. Did we get some links still? And even suggestion? No. I thought we got some links. Okay. And this is 200 words, so a much more condensed version. But once again, you can go section by section. And let's try the other way around. So the second prompt, let me copy the original text. Let me save this as a document. And let's go back to Disability Horizons and grab this prompt and start a new chat. Let's paste this prompt here. You're a writer that creates easy to read documents. Rewrite the attached document as follows. And let me attach the document. Oh, so perplexity cannot read uh, docx. Let me convert this into a PDF. Once again, you're a writer that creates easy to read documents. Rewrite the attached document as follows. Use easy read language. Write short, simple sentences. Use everyday words. Let me just um, try something. Use a rewrite the attached document as follows. While 
keeping the internal links and original and the original word counts. Let's see if this makes a difference. So unfortunately I'm not seeing any internal links. Maybe this is because it was a PDF. But looks like it's a much longer output compared to the first prompt. Let's test it out. So the initial readability was grade 12 and now it's grade 9. And so uh, we got a much longer output, but then again, you can go section by section. So the original was 760 words. So this is close to 500. And this is great readability. And just out of the curiosity, let's see if this passes a detection. <laughs> Generally speaking, Opus, uh, which is Cloud 3 as model, does not pass air detection, but maybe, just maybe, this prompt has changed something, and we'll be using the 2.0 version. Oh my god! So this is 100% original. Oh my god. Hang on. I don't believe in miracles, but let's see what happens. No. 0% original, but guys... It rewrote the clause 3 text and made it 100% original while maintaining the bulk of the meaning. Oh my god. And I'll be sharing this for free. This is not my prompt. I'm not taking any credit for it, but I was allowed to share it. So once again, let's thank Duncan from Disability Horizons. The URL is making the web easier to read for everyone. I'll be linking this into the description. And this is truly a one-click readability improvement solution that I'll be using in my workflow as well. So thank you, Duncan. Hope this video is helpful. I love you guys. Appreciate you guys. And I'll see you next time. Cheers.